Yeah. Like, when did you start? Uh, uh, Recently. <laughs> At my big A. <laughs> former, form, form, forma. Forma. <laughs> Kid mom, I'm pregnant. pregnant. So <laughs> sure. Excuse me. <laughs> Why can't you remember? The she pressure. The pressure. <laughs> All right, so here we are now, gonna start doing our makeup. We have Marie here. Say hey to Marie. Hi. She finally joined us, you feel me? We are jumping right okay. in, and I was actually doing my edges with this color wow, and I never finished it, but we're just getting ready, you know? Galentine situation. Yeah. I'm so excited. Are I you was ready? telling you her earlier, this is my first time. Yeah. My first experience doing the Galentine's thing, so. Absolutely, but I feel like you are more of an OG to YouTube than I am, but this is your first time doing a Get Ready With Me. Like, posting videos, you. Uh, since 2017. <laughs> Yeah. When did you start? Uh, um, Recently. <laughs> well, girl, I was just playing around. You were like serious, serious. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I started posting seriously, I would say 2020. I did a little one, two, one, two, 2019. Oh, really? Yeah, but 2020 is when I really started because I was home, so I had more time to do it, but. Okay, so we are getting ready. We're not necessarily teaching what we're doing. We're more so, more so just chit chat, I am right? absolutely not teaching she's not anything. She's not teaching us anything. <laughs> Except what not to do. Uh-oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Your soft lamb look always looks so nice. Don't Pretty discount it. Basic. It's not basic. That is my wedding makeup. I used to call my my everyday look a basic look, and it, I had to stop. It's not basic, it's, it's not like a basic look, it's soft glam. Because folks would be like, well, I wanna learn how to do that makeup. And I had to rephrase it and call it soft glam because that is indeed what it is, so. Okay, everything is soft glam for me. Every I have one makeup look. Now I can't lie to you, I don't know what I'm wearing today. No. Wait, <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> I don't believe you. You plan everything. No, I, I have some. Believe. I have some ideas. I'm I haven't really narrowed it down. <laughs> no, you you rolled up and you. I was you like, had today's it going it's on. not gonna be on me today. Fenty Pro Filter. You had it going on. Let me tell you right now. Not Especially when you bought fault. that Hello Kitty bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's either that or a trash bag. Uh, oh dear God! Yeah, I'm glad we went with that. I literally need a duffel bag. Like a Nike situation. Like uh, I want to get it. Should give like Louis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm my big A. <laughs> you're, not, you're not thinking like athletic. Oh, you're thinking more yeah. like glam. Yeah, like glam duffel. Oh, you know glamaholic? Have you heard of glamaholic? I have, what is that though? I forgot. Let me do my hand. It's a black owned brand. And okay. they have a really beautiful duff, duffel bag. I put, I mean, it's like, her name is Mia. I don't know, that sounds familiar, but I don't, I don't, I don't get I don't... dragged, but the lady who 
runs it. She has a really beautiful life story. Hmm. And so she has these bags that she sells and uh, the brand is called Glamaholic. And she has these metallic gold, I think metallic seen it. silver. They're so beautiful. If y'all heard of Glamaholic, comment and let me know. I, yeah. maybe I've come across it in an ad. I, I'm not placing it right now, so I don't even know. Wait, oh, not oh, you oh. wearing an apron though. No, because, you know. <laughs> oh, cause you about to do that. Mm -hmm. This is the messiest part. Wow, what is this? <laughs> you tell me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> they said when you put the foundation, then you put the. Uh, be <laughs> mm. I don't even use that, but I Powder. have one. I have one. It's a. It's like a lavender. Is that cheap? Mm -hmm. That same quattro. Ah, uh, quattro thing. Prisma. Prisma. Yeah, quattro meaning has like oh. four different oh. four different sections. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Prisma libre. That one. Yeah, I haven't used it though. Yeah. Oh, and then you just dust it. Look at me learning something new. So. I ran into Marie on social and just being the person. Hey, nothing. Oh yeah. Ah! Okay. Where are you going? I'm just gonna run outside and. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's getting the the, press, the white robe wasn't gonna work out. Mm -hmm. Too much pressure. Mm. Too much. It's okay, even cry. We are matching black and black. What stage? Were I had just moved here. Were you, you new to here? That's yes. wild. I had ran across her on social. I was, what year was it? And I, was I like, had already had Lena. I remember feeling swollen, like ish. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I had ran across her on social and was like, oh, you want to create content together? So we met up at the Galleria for the first time, right? Is that what it was? Yeah. And then we, we shot pictures. pictures. It was like not even good. Ah, it was terrible. The lighting in the Galleria was perfect. It was but, so bad. You know, we tried. I had my, you know what camera I had? You know, G7X, right? G7X yep. part two, what did I think I, I was it. doing with that? Yeah, I had it too, and the lighting was just terrible. We did the best we could. Oh my God. And I thought that she wasn't, I thought that you were already doing this work. So I was like, I mean, I was meet doing it a like small, very small scale, like trying to still figure it out. Mm -hmm. But so, then, like when we were done, you showed me like, yeah, stories all the time, this and that. You're just, just telling me things. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> people are really getting paid and like really living this life. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was still a beginner-ish at it. I wasn't getting paid that much, maybe like 150, 200 on a campaign, something like that, something real minuscule, but it was still something because it was extra pocket change, you know? But I had no idea that <laughs> you hadn't even started or whatever. Like, well, I, I had no idea. <laughs> I really was not. And then you just stuff. started from there, right? Yeah, well, I felt like, oh, if she's doing it, then I can, it kind of like just opened my eyes to the whole idea. Mm. It you brought know in. what? That reminds me, I think you did tell me you had just moved from Maryland. Maryland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. Okay, okay. It had to be four. It had to be four years ago. Four years ago. Totally. Wow, wild. And now here we are, oh, successful, no. blessed, you know, how are you? No. Successful. <laughs> so wild. Isn't it's crazy it? crazy how life works. And even after that, even it wasn't just like, oh, this is how you do it. And then I started, but I was like still doubtful, still working my physical therapy, you know. Oh yeah, tell them, therapy. excuse me, we are in the midst of a doctor. Excuse me. So actually, let's try, <laughs> let's backtrack, please. Over to you, Dr. Marie. Oh please, my god. Give us give us an introduction to exactly who you are, please. As my voice goes down a register. Hey guys, it's Dr. Marie Lahai here, motherhood and lifestyle blogger, former form form. Foma. <laughs> Foma. Foma. Physical therapist. Yes. I never really say that I don't do physical therapy anymore. I kind of. You, you just took a little sabbatical. Yes. Because the nice it's thing is you can always break. jump in if you wanted to, needed to. But she's a doctor. Hello. Yeah. So like we said, we had we had touched base to the photo shoot at the Galleria. Talked every now and then. I had invited you to this event at Joe Malone. Yeah. I think that was. Wasn't that in 2020? That was. No, no, no. It wasn't COVID. But we had gone to a Joe Malone yeah, event. Yeah, that was cool. And I invited you. And you were vlogging at that time because yeah. you had your camera. And that was real fun. But then we never met up again. I always I know, knew, right? like, she's real chill, but you know, we just never yeah. linked up again. And then, how do we end up linking up again? I don't even know. And this is all how, you know, how adult friends go. It's like, you're busy, I'm busy. You gotta be yes. intentional. Let's look, let's look at our calendars. One of you, you know, so it took intentionality. When did we see again after that? Um... It might've been when you asked me, cause we were, okay. So we were friends on social, obviously. And it might've been the, the few times where you were like, can I just pick your brain about this? Mm -hmm. Or what should I do about this? Or what should I charge? What do you think about the, the YouTube channel? What should I do? It might've been something like that. Yeah. Where then I was like, go oh, let, Oh, then we went out. 
so what led up led to the the go out? <laughs> which Remember which we went out? out to O2 and what led but to that? O2 is this summer though. So what happened in like the, the years of COVID? <laughs> not us trying we to match. We were not talking. Um, wow. Not like on Marco Polo and stuff. People were home, so I don't think we were doing very much communication. Okay, but yeah, I, yeah. You I had come to the we pool. Were, I invited you I'm to the pool. A yeah. Lot. There, was a, there were times where you would call me and be like, oh, you know, what should I do about this or whatever, whatever. And we had gone to Joey. Like, we had met up we every now Joey, and again. And then between Joey and the pool. I feel like that was when you called me to be like, what should I do about my YouTube channel? I want to be more than just a, uh, you know, Gosh, kid mom. I'm like, pregnant. So <laughs> sure, excuse me. <laughs> you remember anyway it was spotty to say yes yes it was yes. spotty and what we're trying to say is essentially it's a intentionality to be like yo let's meet up you know yeah, and yeah. then and, and then, i think also for me mentally you know i share with you how i was in and out of like feeling depressed anxious mm -hmm. and all that so friendships were the last new friendships were like the last thing on my mind that is understandable and the way that i am and i feel like all adults who are emotionally secure are just understand that stuff is not about them right it's not about yeah. me if i invited you to an event you came it was cool yes, and, and then yes. we never talked for like another eight months yeah. who cares right life goes on you gotta just be secure in who you are it doesn't yeah. mean anything intentional everyone is going through something and it ain't got nothing to do with you you feel me exactly. so i i never took it as an Fence, and then we I'm a very tricky person. Are you? Yeah. Tell us about it. What do you mean? <laughs> well, just like I'm kind of like all over the place. So I don't like to drag other people into that with me. And so, and I'm moody. Well, I used to be more moody, like before therapy. And so meeting new people and having to be consistent with who I am and and be like yeah, sometimes I want to talk, but sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't want pressure, but sometimes I do. Like, mm -hmm. but you know, like. No, of course, because we uh, had talked about that too. Yeah. Where you were like, I just want to be able to be me and not always have to feel like I'm being on all the time. Yeah. If you don't want yes. to be funny and witty yes. and energized, then yes. you should be because able to just be who you are. I just couldn't, like there were some days I just couldn't even, I didn't even want to see my husband yeah. you know like let alone check on my new friend and yeah. and and i just felt like i couldn't be a good friend at the time and we talked about that too <laughs> where it was like i don't like the friendships where there is a responsibility and let me explain oh like gosh. for instance if we don't talk for six months when we talk don't give me the oh okay now you want to oh call me gosh. oh now you know and my then number. you don't call because you know that's you, coming because you don't want the confrontation right you it can it coming. can very easily in this age and stage be a friendship that is deep and fruitful and edifying even if we're just talking every few months everyone is busy and like you said sometimes you don't want to be on or maybe you're going through depression or anything else and you just don't want to talk and that's okay and we had that conversation i was like oh bet thankfully i'm not that kind of person yeah yeah we, like and I so said, once I realized that you were like so easy going, I felt like you understand you yeah. understood me. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's not even breaking at me for like not doing this or yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just felt so easy and cool and fun. And yes. you know, I like just looked forward to talking and we have so much in common. And Absolutely. Cause Marie will be, honey, <laughs> we'll be together talking. And we have come a long way because we never used to be on the phone. It used to be text, but it's fast. not just you. The phone thing is my personal huge issue. It's like a phone phobia. I know, but <laughs> I even said to you though, that what I've realized, and I know this for myself too, that when you don't feel the pressure with talking to whoever that person is, when you feel comfortable enough to, maybe you didn't answer their first 10 calls and on 11 you answered it a month later when you know that you can answer and not hear the barking oh yeah. now you want to oh you want to whatever when you feel comfortable enough then you're gonna draw closer to that person so even you and i when, we, when we're on the phone or whatever and i'll be like marie you got like 700 text messages that are unread <laughs> and here you are on the phone with me for an hour don't you want to reply to that people and you'll be like oh it's just too much just too oh, much god has given I'm, you the I'm, way i'm telling you so it made me realize that for some people, if you just let them be who they are, and this goes for all relationships, I feel like they'll draw closer to you when when there isn't so much pressure. I'm just yeah. making an assumption, I'm guessing. Yeah. But you know, because we we had come to that realization even in conversation where you we talked about a lot of different things. Where again, you might be barked at by someone, and it's yeah. like, yo, you don't owe me anything, and I yeah. don't owe you anything, right? We are in community with one another because we want to be, because it's comfortable, and because we feel like it's edifying and it's balanced and all of that. If it's something where it's by force, with Marie's person. Personality, she's not gonna answer the phone. She's not gonna call me back. The she's not pressure. gonna text the pressure. You're gonna be like, she's too much. 
the pressure. You know, and I don't ever want to be But too it wasn't much. until you you explained that to me uh-huh. that I was like, yes, that's exactly it. Like, so you were kind of worried like, oh, pressure. I don't want to be like, can I sustain this? Like, yeah, I went to Joe Malone, but like, I can't really give a lot here. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I was like, I'm not even the friend I want to be to my friends, my uh-huh. day one friends from college, mm-hmm. high school, elementary school. Like, I'm not even showing up for them the way I want to show up for. How dare I? Start a new friendship. How dare I, yeah. But I would say that with that, which obviously, in my opinion, is a noble sentiment because it, it shows that you want Noble to be, sentiment. I'm telling you, I've gone to school. Oh, <laughs> I've gone to school. <laughs> Wow. But I no, it is noble because you want to be more for them. Yeah. But what makes it easy for you and I is that, of course, we talk about life and just everything, right? Which is phenomenal. But then we can be in each other's presence and also work. Yeah. So I think what it is yeah, too yeah, is yeah. when we I have friends. I know it's not a waste of time. That's what I'm saying. Because you know? <laughs> when it's we have friends. It's actually an investment. Hello? <laughs> <Chicken>. <laughs> exactly. Because we have friends who don't do what we do and we spend an hour on the phone with them, that's an hour where you could have been perhaps planning My your strategy thoughts. for like the next week or whatever yeah. the case is, right? Whereas yeah. if Marie and I get together and we go to the gym or the coffee shop, yes, yeah. we're talking, we're shooting the breeze, we're like catching up on life, but then we're also strategizing on social and business yeah. and sharing tips. Like that's we are so true. talking about stuff. Because so it's just easier for you to answer my call yeah. than like, a friend who wants to discuss something random, yeah. like it's like I ain't got time for that right now, right, you know. And right. that's Especially not in the fence. Hours. No, 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 no. You, I mean, you come. taught me business. <laughs> Like my kids are at school, this is my time this to grind. Like, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a lot of time for relationships that don't fit into what I do because yeah. it takes too much from me. And if it's not edifying, if it's not fruitful, if we're not discussing, you know, a podcast, a YouTube video, something's you know going to help crazy? us grow. What are we here for? I like, think it's don't so rare to even find friends that you can do that. You, women, you can do that with and call them your friend. Because huh. usually it's like a networking environment. You try to get what you can get in that moment and then you're out of there and then maybe you communicate. Because the content never ends. It, it never, never stops. Ends. So it's like you're always busy. You're always working. So it's hard to form real friendships in that. It's true. And so it's so rare. One of the things that I am absolutely grateful for, even though it, it was a like a, a roller coaster, but not in a tragic way. Just more like a, it just took a while for the friendship to bud. How do you say that? Yeah. It, Which it, one? It, it? Us. Oh, like yeah, it, didn't, yeah. it didn't pop off in yeah, the beginning yeah. and that's okay. But one of the things that I am grateful for is that even though, like I said, we connect on a business level, we connect on a personal level too. If I send Marie a video and it's about marriage I or like know, whatever, right? you she'll be like, I'm stuff. watching right now. I'll be like, wow. You, no, then, that's a love language. And then you I send it to, to me God. and I'm like, yeah, I watched it. Like, I what? swear, like, what sh- did I send you? Yeah, like, I'm not wasting <laughs> my time it? here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'll send you a podcast and you'll be like, okay, I'm gonna watch it right now. I'll be like, oh. Oh. And then we'll discuss it. <laughs> no, that is, I'm so glad you brought that up because that's real. I, I can't lie. I have also learned to be flexible. Okay. I've been a very rigid person oh, okay. and it puts pressure on people and it's yeah, not Yeah, I fair. can see that. It's not fair. I can see Yeah, the, I, I, I can yeah. be very rigid. Like, cutthroat, straight to the point, yeah. just whatever. And I've learned that that's not effective in many relationships. So, and because I know, or I've learned your personality over this past year, for instance, we've gotten oh, a lot closer. Nice. Even with today, for instance, like I know, okay, I, and I had to learn this too last summer. I had gone to Marie's house a few times for us to go somewhere. <laughs> And literally, I'll wait there like an hour and a half. Now, I can sometimes be late, but I that's not my baseline. But you like, know, like you that. have also motivated me to be on top of it, like today. And I love that. Yeah. When you came, I was like, wow, you're back she's packed. On it. I'm ready. Honey, like, you what are you doing? It. I'm just jumping into this, your world. Listen. I'm here. And so yeah. I love that because it, it has rubbed off on you. But what I'm trying to say also, too, is I have learned Marie's personality in that sometimes she's rushing, right? And I get it. You have two children, like, you have a busy life, and, and everyone's personality is different. Like, again, I can. The way I function and do things is not how everyone else functions. And because I know that without her having to tell me, I learned after a few times of waiting an hour and a half at her house, I learned this that when I go to your, I, listen, when you, so when you are a big girl, you, you have to figure act, things yeah, out. Yesterday's day is not today's day. It's not today's day, day. I'm telling you. So when I figured out that this is Marie and you know, if we're gonna be in this friendship, I've gotta be flexible and just know that when I come here, bring my iPad, maybe have something to do, just be ready to Adjusting wait a little bit and not get angry. Yeah. yeah, and not get angry about it because if I- If it was like your sister, would you get angry? I already know her well enough to know that she's the same way. 
she's the same way. She's As rushing me and or, running. Oh, yeah. She's rushing and running and ripping. And, oh, wait, so wait, you wait, wouldn't wait, like wait, bark at her? Because, you know, sister, I would not bark at her. relationships are different. It's very different, but you're right. I would not bark at her. I, I, so that's your what personality. What I do is I just, yeah, I just, it's I not like quiet. a thing that you're just doing to, because it's a new budding friendship. Like, that's just you. Like, it, even with your sister, you'd be like, okay, let me adjust. Let me have something to do. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I have great. just learned to just sit quietly, find something to do, understand that this is that person. Yeah. And if this is that person, then I've got to accommodate that person if I want that person to still be in my life and I want to still be in their life. So I already had set up my mind that, okay, if Marie and I are going somewhere, I should be ready when I go to her house to not be all like, I'm outside, to be like, let me go get down and go inside mm -hmm. and be ready to sit there for like an hour. You feel me? With entertainment. Well, yeah, because that's the moon and the dog and everybody, it is, your house is very entertaining. So you won't lie about that. That's very, very true. You know, but I had to learn that and I was like, huh, okay. You know, I've learned to be flexible. Years ago, I would have like responded differently. That's amazing. But you gotta grow up and I realize love the self reflection. People are just different. Yeah. Yeah. So Marie prefers her lip to be a little bit darker, which I understand. So if you put chestnut all over the lip and then you put something light in the middle and blot it, it'll look more uh, muted. See, I love this. I love just. It this. looks beautiful. Now, here, take I some know, of this I'm color on your finger. Mm -hmm. And what you're gonna do is take a little bit on your um, what's this? Mm -hmm. The ring finger? Yeah. Black um, tap tap tap. Oh, tap faded out. Excess faded, and oh. then just go right in the middle. So go in the middle right now before mm -hmm. it dries, okay. and just do a little bit and see how you like it, and then blend blend. So do more, mm. and that's how you can lighten it. You see? Mm. So it's a smidge lighter, but not too much. If you want it more, oh take some more. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So this is also for you too. If you have deeper skin and you don't like your lips to be too light like mine. Do the darker ah, color all over the lip. I like this. And then take a lighter color in the I middle. I never like it. Because it'll, I it'll, like this. it takes it down. So on me, when I put it on, it's more light, which I like. But on you, it's more subtle. Mm -hmm. It's very soft. So we have the same. Ooh. Basically. But it just looks different. You see? I love it. Yeah. I'm done. Do we have any <laughs> last words for the people? Oh, yes, yes. I always got words. And I also wanted to acknowledge uh -oh. for the followers uh -oh. that you are absolutely the person that you are online. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Why do you have face out there? <laughs> Girl. <laughs> No, I don't know about fakes, but like you really exude luxury every day. <laughs> like, like not just luxury, but like I love the way you like plan stuff and you're very organized and you think ahead and you think about the future and it makes sense with what you're doing now. Everything is intentional. Even the way you organize your surgery videos. Oh. My yeah, if you haven't watched that, we should watch that. They're like Link below. so well put together. It's like you don't even need to watch any other video. This is everything you need. The links. Day one, day two, day three, day 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 now. <laughs> So yes, you have really inspired me to do the same with my biz schedule. I so love it. Get, and listen, what I what it. I want to celebrate too is friendships where we celebrate one another. Which oh I yeah, feel like is just fantastic. Always because oh yeah, it just <laughs> it's it's a must. Like even tonight, like you know, I, absolutely. I just love all the things. So absolutely, I I do value. Our friendship. It's fun. Again, yeah. it makes life easier because we yes. do the same thing. That That's like a huge part of it because yes. I, w I would not have time. And then you like, watch, just watch my kids. Yes! Even though they don't want to stay. <laughs> no, they like to come mommy. here. They love it. <laughs> Daddy. That's yeah. just them, I think. That's but. important too, right? If, yeah. the, if the family can connect, because then it's, it's not just a one-sided friendship. Mm -hmm. You can also do things together all time. Like if we're going to get together sometimes and she's like, okay, I have the girls. Yeah. And I say, I have Nini. Okay, well, we just, family let's family. all go together to the pool. Well, uh, Flexible no, I can't. again. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just. It's, it's different if it's a friend that doesn't have kids and you're like, oh, I have my kids. You want to go to the park? And they're like, I want to go to the club. Like, yeah. you know? So, yeah. well, okay. Oh, so now so we need sad. to get dressed. Yeah. It has gotten dark outside. Okay. So I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, really? You've Wait. never done it in the dark? Nope. You don't go out at night? Girl. Dang, and you gave me all those lights. We could have used those lights. Who's gonna use this one right here? Okay, does it turn up? We're gonna get you, it does, it does. It's getting cloudy. <laughs>